It has been 21 years since Nottingham Forest were last in the Premier Division in 1999. Last season they missed out on the playoffs by a single goal after throwing that way and losing 4-1 in the final match. The failure to return to the Premier League has cost 14 different managers their jobs over the last 10 years and despite spending enormous amounts of sums on talented players and wages, the European Cups of the 80s are drifting out of the public's consciousness. Nottingham Forest are becoming just another name in the Championship. In 2016 they nearly got out of the Championship but the wrong direction. Just like last season, they remained in the championship only on goal difference thanks to a final day win which was starred by talismanic midfielder Chris Cohen. Since then he's retired and new heroes have risen and helped push Forrest back up the table where they belong. Last season, Matty Cash was moved to right back instead of centre midfield, and this inspired Forrest to be in the playoff positions for over 35 games. Like many of their academy prospects, he's also now been sold on to fund more established players in the never ending quest to return to the promised land. In recent years, Forrest have sold Arvin Apaya, Ben Brereton, Matty Cash, Carl Darlow. Jamal Lascelles, Oliver Burke and Patrick Bamford for huge sums and all of these players had over 80 potential on FIFA when they left Nottingham. This money has mainly been used to pay wages and to support the academy further rather than making large transfers. Three seasons ago they both received a record transfer and paid the record transfer. They bought Yao Carvalho for £13 million and he seems to have flopped on Trent's side. But most of this money came from the British on Belonga £15 million transfer to Middlesbrough. Currently, Forrest have another batch of high potential young players coming through. They have Jaden Richardson, who plays as a wing back on either side, Jake Taylor, who's a goal scoring centre midfielder, Brennan Johnson, who's a Welsh international already, even though he's only 19, Joe Worrell, who's captained both Forrest and Rangers several times and played over 100 matches for the Forest. Alex Mighton looks like he could become another Premier League winger, and they've just bought Loic and Bay So from PSG, who eventually will outgrow the championship also. The club is on an upward swing at the moment, with one of the best squads in the league, stadium development plans, and an academy category status one coming soon. The challenge with Forest is getting to the Premier League with such an old squad before you have to sell off some of these younger players to be able to afford more old players. Buying previously owned talents is something that Forrest has done frequently in recent years. They have re-signed Michael Dawson, Andy Reid, Jermaine Jenis and Andy Cole who all played for Forrest as youth players and returned 10-15 years later. Lots of their ex-players are currently at Premier League clubs so if Forrest managed to get promoted you could raid Newcastle for Lascelles and Darlow, Aston Villa for Matty Cash. Leeds for Patrick Bamford or Sheffield United for Ben Osborne and Oliver Burke, all who are fan favourites in Nottingham. The squad is very strong with at least one promotion ready player in each position. There's a lot of deadwood as well, so you could sell these off for more transfer money, but you'll have an option no matter what your play style is in each position except possibly wingers. This is a position you often spend a lot of money anyway so I wouldn't consider this too much of a downside for the career mode. They usually play a 4-2-3-1 defensive counter-attacking formation and they have Amiobi as an out ball as he's a very tall winger and they do a high press in centre mid with So, Yates or Colback. Potential signings for Forest include any Portuguese youngsters, older Premier League players, French players of any age and Greek players of any age. This is quite a diverse selection for a championship club, but that's what Forrest have tended to do over the past five or so years. Their career mode objectives are fairly easy to complete. They have no financial pressure, they're interested in producing young players, and they want to get to the Premier League with a squad that's already good enough. They also have one of the largest budgets in the league, so buying your way up is definitely an option, and you'll need to use some of this for the pre-mentioned wingers. Forrest have worn Garibaldi red since their inception, and it's a kit they wore in both European Cups wearing. 
Their away kit is more unique, it's got a blue and yellow hooped shirt that's meant to resemble the waves of the River Trent, which the ground sits next to. This is also the reason for the wavy lines on the Forest badge. Overall, Forest gives you an interesting challenge of bringing top flight football to one of England's largest cities. Forest also give you multiple ways of achieving this. You can use aging Premier League players, you can create your best youth academy in the league, you can purchase foreign players, or you can do a combination of all of these. If you do decide to use Forest for your career mode, please let me know and I can answer any questions you have about Forest in the comments below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.